Tony Carter was a four-year starter at Florida State, and he made big plays against the run and the pass. See why this little corner could be one of the draft's biggest surprises on Draft Guys TV. After Antonio Cromartie got hurt, Tony Carter was pushed into the starting lineup as a freshman, and he never left it. Carter intercepted a pass in three out of the four bowl games he played in and returned two for touchdowns. Nobody can accuse Tony Carter of not wanting to make the play. Watch again. Carter's giving up five inches and 60 pounds, but he doesn't back down. Carter covers ground quickly when he plants and drives. And when the ball's in the air, his desire and wheels help him beat the wide receiver to the spot. Tony Carter is a natural ball hawk. Check out those ups. He can read the quarterback's eyes and decisively undercut a route. And when he's tested deep, he casually bats the ball away. You're watching Draft Guys TV here with Tony Carter. Tony, what's up? Uh, Nothing much. Just out here having fun, man, making some plays, getting to know a lot of guys, and, you know, just trying to increase the stock, you know. <laughs> You're known as a player that backs down from no man. Where do you get that fire from? Uh, it was instilled in me, man. When I was growing up, uh, I was smaller than everyone, uh, you know, but faster. So uh, these guys out here, you, it's not like they're going to give you respect. You got to earn it. So that's what I'm trying to do. When you're watching a receiver come at you and you're waiting for his break, what are you thinking? What are you breaking down? Uh, his steps, counting yardage, um, uh, just, you know, the formation of where he lined up and things of that sort and, you know, just trying to use my football knowledge to make a play. The pendulum in the NFL is swinging back to quick and fast receivers, so defenses will need more quick and fast cornerbacks. Tony Carter is battle-tested, and he's going to make some team look very smart for giving him the chance he deserves in the pros. For more information on DraftGuys TV, go to DraftGuys.com.